Okay, so here is our code where we just drew our circle. Now this time around, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna just quickly save this so that I have a new file. So I'm gonna call that one now 3e. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna delete this code here. Now it's not gonna be the most efficient because we're not gonna use number of sides. But what I wanna do here is say to it that I wanna go uh, for i in range uh, 0 comma 4 so I'm going to draw a square to start with we're going to say forward and it's going to move 200 pixels forward well whoops that's not going to work my turtle dot forward and then my turtle dot left 90. Now at this point obviously you know how uh, this is the code for uh, a fancy design let's call it that Okay, uh, so this is obviously just going to draw a square at this point, but what I'm going to add, which is going to be a little bit different, is I'm then going to say for i in range 0, 3, need a colon there. Okay, and then I'm going to have my turtle dot forward uh, 20, and my, oops, now I'm on caps lock, my turtle dot left. Uh, let's just do 360 divided by 3. Now I know it's 120, but I'm just going to put that in there anyway. Okay, so this time around, basically what you're going to see happen is our turtle, so if you just follow my mouse down here, my turtle is going to drive forward 200 pixels and then turn left. And then it's going to drive forward 20 pixels and then turn left 360 degrees and do that three times because that's now still inside of this loop. So this is what we call a nested loop. So each time through this loop, we are going to move forward, then turn left, then go into this loop and do that three times where we go forward, then left, forward, left, forward, left. Then we move back up to the top step of this one until we repeat that four times. Okay, so that might be a little bit confusing, but let's have a look at what the output looks like uh, so that you are able to get a little bit better of an idea. So you can see, oh no, we have an error. Oh, I've got a spelling mistake, sorry. Mr. T here. All right, now let's see how we go. I'm gonna grab that one and you can see that it's drawn, gone uh, forward first and then it's turned left. And now it's drawing just another little tiny space each time. So this time, as you can see, we get a little triangle that appears inside of each corner of the shape. Okay, so that's obviously a nice little interesting way for us to be able to have a look at doing something a little bit more complex. All right, now I could do quite a lot of different things here. Like if I actually come in and then had my turtle dot circle, which you learnt last time and told it that it was going to draw a, uh, that's a bit big, let's call it a 20 uh, radius circle. When I go and run that code, what we get instead is we first of all get our triangle, then it draws the circle three times, okay, on each of the sides of the triangle, okay, because now we're starting to put more and more things in, okay. But obviously if I wanted to loop that even further, I could then come in here and say, uh, I don't really want to do that, but um, I'm going to leave the circles where they are. And then I'm going to come in here and say for i in range, and I'm going to say 0, 0,6. Okay, we're gonna get then a hexagon at the end of each triangle as well. So we're gonna say uh, my, oops, my turtle dot forward, and we're just gonna move forward, say 30, my turtle dot left, and we need 360 divided by six. I don't really wanna do any thinking, so that's a little bit lazy, but now we have three nested loops, so we're gonna get on each side of this, on each corner of the square, we're going to get a triangle, which is a little bit hard to see because then we have a circle drawn over the top of those. Now, after each circle is drawn, it's then going to now draw a hexagon on each of those places as well. So let's have a look at what we get this time around. So you can see we move forward, we get our hexagon, then our circles, and then a hexagon, and then we move up to the next part of our shape. So you can see that we're sort of adding, you know, a lot of rubbish at the corners of each of the circles. But this is how we can use what we call a nested loop in programming to repeat uh, certain pieces of code multiple times whilst repeating another particular loop.
okay? So if you were really, really creative, you could probably use this to draw like a really nice flower where you had, say for instance, like a circle in the middle and then you found the points on the edge of the circle where you're gonna draw each of the individual petals. Or maybe you might be able to draw yourself a super simple and easy star. Now in the next couple of lessons, we're gonna be using some of the functionality like a uh, pen up and pen down so that you don't have to draw all the time. So you might choose to actually stop drawing at some points in time, uh, or, and we might start to add some color in as well. So that's it for topic number two, okay? If you're following along with our eLearn course or in terms of what we've got here on YouTube, our uh, third lot of exercises in our Python Turtle Graphics uh, sort of basics coding course.